Hello again. Temperatures should rise a little bit over the weekend. For much of the morning, we were covered in grey cloud once again. It finally began to break up in the early afternoon and that sunshine increased as the afternoon went on. In the city, it reached a top of 17.8. It was generally 9 or 10 overnight and in the high teens later this afternoon as the cloud slowly diminished. But that cloud hasn't completely disappeared and we'll see more of that grey once again tomorrow morning. The grey stretched across southern Victoria as it has for much of this week in a very slow moving weather pattern. The cloud broke up this afternoon but there's still plenty of that just there offshore ready to sweep back in once again overnight. Northern Victoria was sunny all day, barely a cloud in the sky leading to a chilly start this morning. High pressure remains centred back over to our west but now we have a ridge of that higher pressure extending here over Victoria. That means temperatures can rise but only by a few degrees. As long as the main centre is back over to our west, like it should be for the rest of the uh, for the next week ahead, then that means there's no major warm up for us. Instead, the troughs that are up to our north will be dominating the weather pattern. And watch just how much rain they could produce over the weekend and next week. It begins in the interior, then it works its way here through the eastern states, reaching Victoria's northeast but not really coming any further. So Western and Southern Victoria should miss out on this one. It doesn't quite reach Melbourne until later on next week, maybe on Saturday. So this here is hit and miss showers and thunderstorms with a large area at risk next week. Around the nation, tomorrow dry for Brisbane, Sydney and Canberra. Storms, they'll arrive there from Monday onwards. It does look showery in Hobart tomorrow with a front passing by. In Adelaide, lots of sunshine, a top of 26. It's warm and sunny in in Perth. To Victoria, patches of fog early inland. There is more of that grey in the southwest, but it clears faster than today. Much of Gippsland has sunshine all the way through the day. The north does continue sunny, but there should be some wispy high cloud moving through. It does look mild in the south, warmer in the north and parts of the east. The wind is a light southerly. Closer in, we are covered in cloud once again tomorrow morning, but this time it breaks up earlier. It begins in the late morning. There is a sunny afternoon on the way, letting the temperature rise a degree or two. The city begins the day grey, but there should be sunny breaks by lunchtime. That's ahead of a bright sunshine, bright sunshine during the afternoon when it does reach a top of 20. To the eight-day outlook, a Sunday may begin with a bit of fog, but that's ahead of a rather nice day. Now, it should be our warmest in almost a week and a half, and the first just above average too, reaching 23 in the sunshine. Cloud returns on Monday morning. We'll have that into Tuesday and Wednesday morning as well, but there is warmer weather later next week. We're rising to 20 tomorrow, grey at first, of course, but it clears earlier than today, so we do have a bright and sunny afternoon on the way, Mitch. Sounds pretty good. Thank you, Jane.